people often wanna put a tiny home on a piece of land and Airbnb and out. Do I think this is a good idea? No, I don't. And here's why. So tiny homes, generally they have to be off grid. If you're buying some land and then you're like, cool, I'm gonna buy the super cool tiny home that's like $20,000. I'm gonna just plop it on that land. Well, there's a lot of things you're not thinking about if that's your plan. So what's the plumbing gonna do? My sister lives in an off-grid tiny home. You can check her out at Maui Tiny Home. Her name is Zena Fontanilla. Um, but they have a composting toilet. Now that has to be emptied out uh, manually. So are you gonna do that? Is your cleaner gonna do that? Your guests sure aren't. <laughs> um, then you have to have propane to work the stove. Then you have to do uh, water catchment or have water delivered. There's lots of little things. Um, they are on solar and they run out of power depending on the electricity. So I don't think that they're great. They're not gonna be hands-off. They're not gonna be automated as rentals. So you can do it and people do, but just know what you're getting yourself into ahead of time.